Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the Massey Ferguson 1525. I've had a number of requests asking me to show a video on how to drive this tractor and it is actually remarkably easy. Uh, it's just hydrostatic which means you've just got forward reverse and then three ranges. It features hare, tortoise and snail. Now the snail isn't something that my other tractor has which I'm really pleased about because obviously when it comes to rotor racing you need to have high power and low speed. Now here is a close-up view of the pedals, we've got the brake forward and reverse, the brake being the one without any rubber on it at the top, the left being forward and the right being reverse. The left hand side of this tractor doesn't feature any pedals at all. Now what we have to do is then select a range, as you can see we've got from the left to the right snail, tortoise and hare, so gradually getting faster, and then of course neutral in the middle. So once that is selected you can then go forwards and backwards. So that's the forwards pedal, that's the reverse pedal. I'm going to show you this in a second with the engine running and that is the brake pedal. This tractor also does feature cruise control. You'll feel it go into a notch, this lever. There are a number of notches for different speeds and then when you want to come out of cruise control just pull it back again. While I'm showing you the controls I'll also show you the PTO. This one is the mid PTO at 2000 RPM the one at the front is the rear PTO at 540 and then to engage these once you've selected the one you want what you have to do is twist the PTO knob to the right hand side and then pull up if you want to switch it off just hit the button this is a safety feature time to start it up and I'll show you in action This tractor also has an accelerator built into each pedal which means that the harder you press it, not only the faster you go but also the higher the engine RPM goes. Now you may be wondering why I've just plucked this rotavator out of the undergrowth. Basically I've got a lot of mulch to move in the next few days so it's just totally in the way. So that is the reason why. But another reason is because I want to show you the rotavator in a bit closer detail. So going back to it, you can see that it's actually in a fairly poor state. But I did actually use this and I do use this every single year to rotivate the vegetable patch which is actually a fantastic machine to do it with. It does a decent job, it goes fairly deep and it doesn't require too much horsepower. Having said that, it is cosmetically very rusty. Mechanically, it's perfect. The bearings are good, I think they've been recently replaced before I bought it. It was like this when I got it, but obviously it's a bit more green now because I've left it outside. The rotors, uh, the tines are, well, perfect. <laughs> There's nothing really wrong with them. So, it's a nice machine, but what I'm trying to say here is, what do you think I should do? Should I just keep it as it is and just keep using it, or should I restore it and then use it Either way, it's not really going to make a huge difference to me because it's just as good painted as it is rusty. Um, just as long as I don't let it rust through. And yeah, we'll get some of the rubbish off it first. Uh, but yeah, let me know. What shall we do with this rotivator? Just thinking about it, I did get told about a seal when I first got it and apparently this seal was leaking and it could do with an oil change. So I think if nothing else, I will do this. You can see the seal. Although it doesn't seem to be leaking, it is a little bit perish and it's being left outside, so I don't know. Um, I think that it was supposed to be leaking at the bottom, but it's got this place on here anyway so that it doesn't rub through when it's in the ground and then leak all the oil out. But yeah, I think just a bit of general maintenance is all it really requires, even though cosmetically it doesn't look the best.
Anyway, for the time being, I'm just going to leave it over here, and that is the end of the video. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again very soon in the next one.